a lot of our soils here respond really, really well uh, to deep ripping. Uh, we get a, a, an extremely good yield response from deep ripping um, and we also get an increase in our nitrogen use efficiency. So we can get an increase or a doubling of the root growth down the profile uh, from deep ripping on our sandier soils. And so that just means that the crop can access that um, nitrogen as well as the uh, extra moisture down that profile. And that, may, that, uh, you know, that, is, um, that is a great thing. It can lead to a yield response of 20 to 40 per cent um, in cereals. Um, and it can lead to an increase in your nitrogen use efficiency by 15%. And uh, they're the two factors that you need to balance out. For example, if you had a two tonne crop and you were to uh, deep rip that soil to a depth of say 400, uh, uh, 400 millimetres, then you may see a 20 to 30% yield response. So maybe a, a uh, you know, a, say a, a a four to, to 600 um, kilo per hectare response. And you would also, uh, because those roots are following that nitrogen down the profile, especially the nitrogen uh, that was put on early in the season, um, it can follow the, that nitrogen down the profile and, and get better nitrogen use efficiency. And so it can, it can mean that you could end up with maybe 300 kilograms extra yield just because of that nitrogen use efficiency. So if there is a difference between the ripped yield potential and the increase um, in the nitrogen use efficiency, then yes, you will have to put a little bit of nitrogen on to account for that difference. But if you are in a low rainfall zone and you've got more risk in terms of how the season finishes, um, then you've got to be very careful that you don't over fertilise and that over fertilisation can mean a lot more crop biomass and a lot more um, water use during the season and the crop can actually run out of moisture by the end of the season and that will mean that uh, the crop could end up yielding less than if you um, didn't re deep rip that soil. So you just need to take into account those factors when deciding on a nitrogen recommendation. On loamy soils, certainly some, some very handy responses and some people are recording over a, a tonne per hectare yield response or more um, from, from uh, deep ripping those uh, lighter loams essentially, so they're red in colour but they do in a lot of ways uh, mimic a, a sand plain soil which we've always traditionally um, deep ripped. So therefore you, you uh, are also going to increase your nitrogen use efficiency so you're going to be able to follow that nitrogen down the profile with that better rooting system um, but chances are that kind of a yield response um, is not going to be a, uh, accounted for with, with that nitrogen increase in nitrogen use efficiency and so we're going to have to significantly uh, increase our nitrogen recommendations when we've got that, that kind of a response of soil. I think there is an element of the root growth being better from ripping and it's growing into uh, nitrogen that's further down the profile but it's probably been um, a little bit overstated in a lot of um, deep coring work that we've done in the past. We haven't found that very big bulge um, of nitrogen down the profile. Um, so I think that the major uh, response is probably just in that extra um, moisture um, or more efficient moisture use down the profile.